Hello everybody, good to be with you all again. Today, as I promised, we're going to have the first story from the second part of our Bible, which we call the New Testament. And their story is mostly about Jesus and his friends. Here's our story for today. <clears throat> I think you might have heard this story before. I wonder whether you have ever had a new baby sister or brother or a new baby cousin and you've seen what a lot there is to do to get ready for a new baby. Buying clothes, buying cots, prams, maybe bottled drinking bottles or oh, so many things. Well, a long, long time ago, in a town called Nazareth, there were two people who were very much looking forward to a new baby arriving. Those two people were called Mary and Joseph. Mary was especially excited because it was her first baby, and even more so because an angel had been to visit her and had sent her a message from God telling her that her baby would be very, very special indeed. Now, in a way, all babies are special, aren't they? Because everybody is special to God. But this baby was going to be extra, extra special because he was to be called the Son of God. Now Joseph would almost have certainly been very busy making a cradle because he was a carpenter. So he would have been making a special cradle for the baby, I think. Then one day, while they were getting ready and feeling very excited, Mary and Joseph had some worrying news. They were going to have to travel away from their home in Nazareth leave their hometown and go to a town called Bethlehem. It's that Bethlehem again. We've heard about that, haven't we? This was because the Roman governor had made an order that everyone had to go back to the town that their families had come from many, many years before to sign their names in a register. Now, do you remember when we heard the story about David, we said that Jesus was the great, well, Joseph was the great, great, ever so many times grandson of King David, who had lived in Bethlehem. So because Joseph was the great, great, ever so many times grandson of King David, who we heard about, he had to go back to Bethlehem to sign the Roman governor's big register. And Mary, of course, had to go with him. I don't suppose they could take many of the things with them that they had got ready for the baby. I don't suppose they could take the lovely cradle that Joseph would have made. They would just be able to carry a few clothes and blankets. They didn't have a car to go in, did they? So off they set. It was a long, a long, tiring journey for them, especially for Mary, as her baby was soon to be born. Oh, I'm sure they were looking forward for somewhere to have a nice meal and rest when they arrived. You know, if you've been on a journey, maybe you're sitting in the back of the car saying, are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there yet? And when you get there, the first thing you want to do maybe is to go and have something nice to eat and find where you're going to sleep. But oh dear, Mary and Joseph were disappointed. All the places that they might have had to stay were full up because so many other people had come to Bethlehem as well. And Bethlehem was really, really full with all the people who come to sign the big register. 
but Joseph managed to find one kind person who offered Mary and Joseph shelter where he kept his animals. It was warm and it was dry, so Joseph said, thank you very much. And it was there, with amongst the animals, that Mary's baby was born. And Mary named her baby Jesus. And she wrapped him up warm and she put him in the animal's feeding box because she didn't have the cradle. The animal's feeding box was called a manger. So she made sure that the new baby Jesus was tucked up warm and cosy and snug in the animal's feeding box in the manger. Now while this was happening that night, out on the hills around Bethlehem, it was surrounded by hills, and on those hills were lots and lots of sheep. And the shepherds were out there guarding their sheep against the wolves and the bears who might come down at night. And they were sitting there watching their sheep, maybe looking up at the stars, when suddenly absolutely to their amazement came a choir of beautiful beautiful bright shiny angels and they came to see the shepherds with a special message just for the shepherds one of the angels said to the shepherds just hurry on down to Bethlehem and there you will find a very, very special baby who is more than just a baby. He is the Son of God. How shocked must the shepherds have been? Can you imagine just quietly sitting there with their sheep and suddenly that happened. But shocked as they were, they did just as the angel had told them because they believed it was a message from God. And they hurried on down to Bethlehem and they looked and they looked until they found the place where Mary and Joseph were with the animals and where baby Jesus was wrapped up cosy lying in the manger. Wow, what a thing to see. When they went back to their sheep, they were so, so excited and so, so happy to have seen God's Son. They went back singing with joy. They knew that Jesus was a very special baby indeed. And I don't think they ever forgot that night, do you? I don't think I would have done. For us, the time when we remember the story of Jesus when he was born, we call Christmas, don't we? And how exciting is it? when we're getting ready for Christmas, just as Mary and Joseph got ready for the new baby. <gasps> we get excited four weeks before Christmas, we call it Advent Sunday, and sometime between then and Christmas, maybe you put up your Christmas tree and your decorations, and <gasps> what an exciting time. Just as exciting as waiting for the new baby. But how exciting is it when Christmas morning comes? Just as it was for the shepherds when they heard the angel's message and when they saw baby Jesus. They were so excited they wanted to sing for joy. Sometimes we sing for joy too at Christmas, don't we? We sing lovely Christmas carols. Christmas is a time when we can be very happy, very excited. But we can also say thank you to God 
for the best, best present of all that anybody could have. And that's the gift of Jesus. We'll have more stories about Jesus in the coming weeks. Till then, take care. God bless. See you soon. Bye for now.